Rob Grimes for IFBTA. And here at CES every year, we come across little gadgets and things that make a lot of sense and that maybe people thought about but they didn't think about using within the food service and hospitality industries. So here's one from a company called XY and they want to be known as the findables company. And basically, it's smart tags. It's tags that are trackable. Now, they gave me a spec sheet here. I don't have it here right now. But there's really three major companies that are within this sector that are selling these things. They're very hot, but they're also not that costly. So I'm actually holding a, uh, a tag that's attached to a key ring. But if you look on this table, you can see the obvious thing is for luggage. Somebody doesn't want to lose their teddy bear. And there's, of course, the wire strap on a beef case and things like that. And as I look at their brochure, they actually have a flat luggage tag. And I was talking to him about the possibility with the number of tablets being used within restaurants and hotels and things that actually they embed this in the case and you can put it on there and track. Coming in the future this year by June, they have one that's GPS. So a lot of people have focused on beacon technology. They're focusing really on three different technologies. They've got the beacon technology. They've got actually a uh, NFC technology. And then they've got the GPS technology. Some of these are coming in the next couple of months. The idea behind the NFC is that it's actually a sticker tag and they're going to put the sticker tag on things and then you can track that tag by NFC as it goes from place to place. Great for inventory, great for tracking certain uh, equipment and things like that. But what I'm thinking about is we start putting more technology in the hands of our employees, we want to be able to track that uh, technology. When we put technology in the hands of our customers, like handing them a, a pad to go ahead and take a look at a wine list or the menu or a comment card case, we don't want to lose those things. There's a big investment. So when you take a look at things like a three pack for 50 bucks, and then you find stickers that are eight bucks in an eight pack, you know, there's a lot of different low cost technology here. The cool thing about it is actually you register these and this company is differentiating themselves from the other companies because they can have unlimited tags, unlimited tags, whereas the other companies are saying have a limit on the number of tags. So all you do is you register the tag and then you can see where it is and if it gets away from you, you can track it down. One of their tags actually also has the ability that you can do the reverse. That if you have your keys but you lost your phone, you go ahead and you click the keys and the phone will go ahead and let itself know, wake up and send a signal so you can find that. The converse side of it is if you lose your keys, you send a, a code to it and it'll start chiming and making a noise so you can track it down. But a very low cost technology with a real use uh, coming out big time for the consumers. I've been hearing a lot of radio commercials about this sort of technology recently. So as the consumers adopt it, cost comes down, a definite way of doing asset tracking, asset protection, but especially as we look at mobile types of technologies in the hands of our employees and the hands of our guests. You know, there's another practical uh, use of this technology. When you think about it, it doesn't have to be about finding inanimate objects like luggage and teddy bears and things. It could be about finding people as well. If you think about it, we've been talking about ways in the industry to track our employees, ways to track our customers, to be able to provide them better service. Well, one of the things that you could do, and I remember somebody asked me about this many years ago, is you could go ahead, let's say you're a hotel company or a restaurant company with a loyalty card or luggage tags. Who gives out luggage tags? Everybody gives them out, right? You could go ahead and have somebody register, give them a luggage tag or give them a loyalty card that has one of the tags or is one of the, car, uh, is one of the tags. And then when they're approaching your property or when you're trying to find them or when they land at the airport, just like when your luggage lands and you want to know that it's there, you're actually, if they've opted in, of course, able to track a customer and know where they are. You know, a lot of theme parks, cruise ships are looking at ways of tracking people today. Again, a very simple way to do it. If we give this technology to an employee, we can track and see where the employees are. So there's any number, and that could be a, a security type of thing. You know, when you're talking about security officers and people going, a lot of different usage. I did ask them, by the way, if anybody thought about putting it on the pets, because there are a lot of expensive pet collars. Well, you can go ahead and do that. And by using just a simple band on here or a TSA lock, if you want to go ahead and put a combination on it or something like that, you can put it on your pet's collar and know where your pet is, know where your children are. So there's any number of things that we can do, but it isn't just tracking the, uh, tracking the objects and things, tracking your property, but it also can be tracking people for very positive uses as well. So Rob Grimes at XY, the findables company, just taking a look at smart tags and tracking tools that can make some sense for us. For IFBTA, I'm Rob.